Dominique, obviously you are a three-time Olympian and you were part of the 96 team, which really set the tone for what women's gym gymnastics is now uh, for Team USA, part of the Magnificent Seven that won gold in Atlanta. So when you reflect on your Olympics journey and specifically the 96 Olympics, what comes to mind for you? Well, it's unimaginable to think that the 96 Olympic Games was 28 years ago. And I think back, it feels as if it was yesterday or a whole nother lifetime ago, just because there were so many magical moments that happened with that team. And we made history, you know, being the first women's team to win a gold medal and to do it on American soil in Atlanta, Georgia, made it that much sweeter. It was a great deal of pressure. It was very challenging. Um, there were the highs and lows, but it was all worth it. And then fast forward to now, I know you shared some stuff on your social media with your four children watching the Olympics with them. So what's it like to have those moments to sit down and, and watch the games with them and, and share the sport of gymnastics? Yes, it was truly a joy to watch Team USA here, the Paris Olympic Games. We were not there at all. We were traveling here in the States, but I've been stopped by so many people these last couple of decades, and people would stop and thank me for the memories that I helped plant in the lives of their families and their friends, and they remember exactly where they were at the 1996 Olympic Games in their grandmother's living room or their aunt's kitchen and cheering on Team USA, and they thank me all the time. And so I want to thank Team USA for giving me and my family these amazing memories. We were traveling and watching all these traditional sports, but non-traditional sports. And it made that uh, 16 days of glory very special. Yeah. And then I know also on your social media, you, you have a video of one of your daughters doing some tumbling and gymnastics. So are they interested in the yep. sport or are we going to have some future maybe gymnast or, or even Olympians? Yes. Well, I have three gymnastics academies here in the state of Maryland. It's the Dominique Dawes Gymnastics and Ninja Academy. I started this small business during the pandemic, July 2020. We opened our doors and all four of my kids have taken classes here. A couple of them have competed. They love the sport, but I'm making sure that they have a happy, healthy childhood. And I really do believe parents, you know, the sport of gymnastics is the greatest foundation you can give your child. I'm not saying they have to do competitive gymnastics whatsoever, but if you get your child in a positive, empowering recreational space, just the, the skills that they'll learn, the balance, the strength, the coordination will help them set the tone for, I think, living a healthy lifestyle and it'll help them on and off the gymnastics floor. I know a focus of yours with the Academy is creating that positive environment. What yeah. has it been like to open the first Academy? Now you have three and, and really see it grow. And then also just what you're providing these young athletes. Well, when I sat down and I wrote my business plan of starting a gymnastics academy, the why behind it was creating a healthy culture in the sport of gymnastics. My desire was to rebrand the sport. It had been focused on too much pressure, too much pain, high expectations, everyone needing to strive to either get a full scholarship or to become an Olympic level athlete. And that level of sacrifice, commitment, and hard work is not for everyone. And I wanted to create a gymnastics environment that was for everyone. And that's really what has driven myself as well as my husband and my four kids to take on this four plus year journey that we've been in. We opened our first academy July 2020 in the midst of the global pandemic and we went through some tremendous lows like many small businesses across the globe had gone through but we persevered. We have an amazing team of people that believe in our vision, they believe in our mission and they live it out each and every day and so I think getting that great support system is important in never giving up during those tough times. Yeah, absolutely. And, and being a small business owner, you've been able to open three, three academies, as you mentioned, but what do you hope the future holds for what you're doing? Well, I hope what the future holds is that I rebrand the sport of gymnastics and that people realize you don't have to be a highly competitive gymnast or striving for the Olympics to you know, do the sport of gymnastics. It is really a fun and beautiful sport. It is one of the most popular female sports during the Olympic Games and definitely on TV when, when people are, you know, all eyes on these amazing feats of these athletes. And so I want people, parents to realize that the foundation that their children can get in the sport of gymnastics will help them on and off the soccer field, on and off the baseball diamond, on and off the football field, in, in golf, in, in diving, in any other sport that their children choose to pursue. It's a great foundation. And that's the foundation that I wanted for my four kids. And I, I want to ask, because I know recently over the summer, you were honored with your own statue, an, an iconic moment that we've <laughs> all seen from the 96 Olympics. So what was it like to have that happened in your home state? 
well, it's painful to watch me do a split, I will say. I don't do that anymore, nearly at 48 years old. Um, but having a statue in my hometown is is an honor. Um, it's very humbling. But to know that a young boy or a young girl can walk by that statue and realize that they too can reach their fullest potential in whatever they choose to pursue, that was, um, I think, the driving force behind this about trying to leave a lasting legacy and plant a seed of inspiration and empowerment. And before we wrap up, just your thoughts on the the women's gymnastics team being able to bring home the gold again this time around. Oh, I was uh, so excited to watch Team USA. I mean, Simone Biles competed in her third Olympic Games. I was the last female gymnast to do that and for her to follow in my footsteps, but then even exceed what I was able to accomplish was truly a joy. But I also just want to share that I'm here a part of Wells Fargo Open for Business Fund and being a small business owner myself who started an academy in the middle of a global pandemic, I want to thank them for their funding that they were able to provide to the small business community. It was nearly $420 million in funding for nearly 336,000 small businesses to help them sustain hundreds of thousands of jobs and create hundreds of thousands of jobs for those small business owners. And for someone that went through that low during the global pandemic, I understand this funding and the free counseling that was allotted to small business owners has been life-changing. Yeah, no, making it through the pandemic alone and then now having three academies, I'm sure just feels amazing. And, and obviously having that support. Do you have any advice for small business owners before we wrap up? You know, I would say, yes, it's exciting to have three academies in the Maryland area. But for me, my family's always been a priority. Um, you know, I'm married to an amazing guy who's a school teacher for nearly 20 years, and I'm a mom of four kids. And so I think for small business owners, we know the work-life balance is very challenging and it's a juggling act, but we can't lose sight of what's most important. And we want to make sure we're spending the most time that we can with our loved ones and learning to delegate. I will say I came from an individual sport, so learning to be a team player was a little bit of a challenge for me. I thought I could do it all. However, you've got to lean on the support. If you've got funding out there like from Wells Fargo with the Open for Business Fund, or you've got opportunities for mentorship and free counseling, take advantage of it because that help will only help, help you continue to grow. Well, Dominique, thanks so much for the insight. Thanks so much for the time. And we look forward to watching the Academy grow, maybe even down here in Charlotte one day soon. That would be great. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks.